You know, I figure if I hang on to this for a bit longer, I can cop a few more minutes in bed. You're some sort of a dream, right? Hmm? No, I'm not a dream. I'm really here. I should have known something. I, I, I don't go with miracles very well, and uh, the same thing applies to ghosts. What are you? I'm not a ghost. A miracle, right? I... Oh, I've never met one. <laughs> You're shaking. Yeah. And just everywhere I went, whatever I did, I kept looking over my shoulder. This is really the first time I felt safe in weeks. Well, part of the service. Now, tell me, why didn't you go back to your house for the party after the concert? Tell me. I was afraid that something really terrible was going to happen to me. So just tell me where you've been and what happened. Okay. Well, I was really stunned. I had no idea about this car crash or that everyone thought I was dead until I heard about it on French radio. French? How did we get to France? Well, I have a house there. Huh. You know anything about this, huh? If you do, you are tight mouthed about it. Over here. <laughs> All right, I want you to take this right from the top and listen to me okay. carefully. Right. Now, as I understand it, you and I we're at the stage door after the concert, right? Right, right, of course. You decided you wanted to go to the party by yourself right. rather than with me, right? Right, right, exactly. Right. But instead of going to the party, you took off at warp speed around the old Lake Road, lost control of the vehicle, and crashed. Sound familiar? Robert, I wasn't in the car. I saw you driving it. I went to the airport. I really wanted to tell you how scared I was inside. But look, I've tried to tell people before. I just can't. You told your diary. How do you know <laughs> what's in my diary? Um, well, I know a lot more about you since you died. You have to put it quite that way. Look, we had an accident, a very violent one, surrounded by suspicious circumstances. I'm not the only person who felt this way. Mary was convinced that foul play was involved. Mm, she gave me a diary. I had a lot of personal stuff in there, Robert. How much of it did you read? Mm, every word. And you're not angry with me? Why should I be angry? I'm just... I'm just sorry you couldn't have said something before. I know. It's just the way I am. It's stupid, I guess. I just think if I, I don't admit to this fear, then nothing will happen. This isn't the first time these things have happened, is it? I mean, the falling lights, that was just one more accident, right? Right. And the, uh, the champagne and the piano. What else? Things that you feel silly making a fuss about. A taxi that almost hit me when I was in London. A bomb that was discovered on a plane that I was supposed to be on. And a snow machine that barely missed me while I was skiing in Switzerland. And this all happened in the last five years, right? How did you know? Because that's... When your parents died, and that's also in the last two years, is when your sister Janice died. I've never told you any of these things. I've done a lot of checking into you since your demise. Well, you know, the car just felt strange to me that night for some reason, and that's, that's why I panicked and I had to run away. Strange how? Well, I don't know. The, the steering felt loose. Let me guess. You're always looking over your shoulder. You're always looking for something that isn't there. You're not really quite sure what you're looking for, are you? How do you know? Oh, that's right. You know ev everything about me now. No, no, just bits and pieces. All right, let's go back to the airport. What happened from then on? 
Well, I drove back to the airport. And I didn't go to my own party, as you know. And I, I gave my car to the parking attendant, and I went inside. I really wasn't planning on going anywhere. But then I heard them giving the last boarding call for a flight to Paris. As chance would have it. Well, it seemed kind of like an omen. I had a credit card in my purse, so I went. And uh, once I got to Paris, I took the noon train and went to Provence. And from Provence, I caught a cab and went out to the old farmhouse. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't see anybody except for uh, Celeste and Jean-Luc, who take care of my farmhouse and they cook for me. Longer. No papers, television, radio? Well, Celeste has a radio. One day she came in just as white as a sheet. She told me to come listen to a, to a memorial concert for me. Must have been quite a shocker. Oh, I was horrified, Robert. I did what everyone must have gone through. I, but still. But still, you're thinking about this would-be killer who's out there taking pot shots at you and not getting too lucky. And what are they going to do next? Robert, hmm? who is trying to kill me? Me. <clears throat> Scorpio. Guy here. We brought your suspect yeah, exactly. in, but Scorpio, listen, kind of how I want to get out of here real soon. So listen, you can... Uh, guy, hang on, will you? Uh, look, love, can you, uh, feed the dog? I think he's about ready to eat the stereo. Okay, sure. Come on, buddy. All right, listen, you tell Sam to book him, okay? Very, very slowly. Let him cool it a few hours at a time. Then start some of the questioning, but I impress upon him to take her time. I'll be down later, but not until tomorrow morning. No, no, wait a minute. Sam has already changed into her street clothes. Tell her to change back. Oh, come on, Robert. Be nice. She's got a hot date tonight. Guy, listen, I don't care if she's about to get married in the morning. And tonight she books Donay, and she's going to walk him through the questions. That's what the badge is for. Tell her. You arrested Claude? Would you tell me that it's for drunk driving, please? Suspicion of murder. Oh, Robert, that's impossible. That's totally ridiculous. I agree with you. I doubt that he's the one behind all of this. I've got too many things pointing in his direction for me to ignore them anymore. Robert, is this nightmare ever going to end? Or is it going to kill me? Nothing's going to kill you. Now, why don't you come over here? Let me tell you what I know. 